If you've used Webflow e-commerce or CMS, you know how easy it can be to create dynamic content, meaning you can design a page one time and have the content replaced dynamically, depending on the page you're on. Well, we have something for you, a multi-image field that makes it easier to add up to 25 images per CMS post or e-commerce product. Let's take this plant product page. We have all this dynamic content, one main image, three additional lightbox images, a title, a description, kind of, a multi-image field again for care instruction badges, and a paragraph. Let's set up our products. We want to add a multi-image field to all our upcoming product pages. So we'll add the field to products. So let's open up the settings. To create a new field, simply select New Field and click Multi-Image right here. This is the field that will accompany our main image, so we'll call that one Images. Hit Save and let's make another one for our Care Instruction Badges. We'll call that one Care Instructions, saving our field and collection. We have a product already available here, to which we'll add our images. Scrolling to our Multi-Image field that we just added, we'll upload our images in both fields. And again, save changes and close the panel to go back to the product template page. And may the enchantment begin. As we're aiming for dynamic content, we pick out the collection list and drag it to our main image in the same column. We're defining the source as images, which is the name of our multi-image field from the product page, and we want each item to be full width. Our columns are still empty. Not to worry, there's a reason for that. We haven't set any object, so let's grab our beloved lightbox and place it inside our collection list. Where are the images coming from? Products. And from which product field? Images. Now that our lightbox is set up, let's do the exact same thing with our lightbox thumbnails. From then, you can set up properties as usual. Let's add our badges the exact same way and test it out. Again, grabbing a collection list and placing it in our second column, linking it to care instructions, and this time we want two columns to have them right next to each other. We don't need a light box here, just an image. You know the drill, drag and drop, get the image from products, and care instructions. Setting an image width and a wrapper width, and there you go, let's test it. Our light boxes are working, but as you can see here, they're not linked together. We can't navigate from one image to the other without closing the light box and clicking on another one, which can work out depending on the use case, but here, we want a gallery feeling. Make sure you select your light box link object and go to the settings panel and check the link with other light boxes option. Give it a name and we're ready to test again. And there you go, we have our arrows, we can navigate with the keyboard, everything is working out. But do we want to be extra here? Yes. Let's add our main image to our gallery. To do that, you guessed it. Let's place the image in the light box and link the light box to our other images by using the same group name. Now that our light box is set up, let's do the exact same thing with our light box thumbnails inside the light box. Our gallery is ready, we can use our keyboard, everything is working out. All we need is a bit of hover magic with a hue, an opacity filter to have our template ready.